Right on. Off we go, big guy. Hi everyone, I know it's been quite a long time between videos, but I wanted to show you something new here. This is racing under lights at the Sydney Motorsport Park in Eastern Creek. Now cyclists have been racing at the Sydney Motorsport Park for quite a few years during the daytime, but this year is the first time that we've seen racing under lights here at nighttime, thanks to Penrith Cycling Club for hosting these events. They'll be running them throughout the winter on Monday nights. So I thought I'd come down last Monday to check out the racing here. Events at B grade, it's quite a big field. I'd say around 40 riders at least, which is an awesome turnout for weeknight racing in Western Sydney. As you can see, there's something a bit different about how we're racing this, not just because it's under lights, but also it's a reverse direction, which means this Finishing straight, which is usually downhill all the way, is instead an uphill drag with a bit of a pinch at the top right here where we are now. We're about half an hour into this race at the moment and that little uphill drag with the pinch at the top is going to be the main feature of each lap. It's about a one hour race and as I said, it's, we're about half an hour in and I've spent the first part of the race just sitting in the bunch staying protected and seeing how this course plays out because it is new to me it's probably new to most of the riders in this field but it was the second race under lights for the season as you just saw there i bridged across to this rider across the top because there's a little breakaway forming here that i want to be part of at this point in the race it's real fast downhill here, and it was a tailwind on the, on the night. And as you can see, once we caught them, I went straight over the top with another acceleration, not because I thought I could attack and get away by myself, but I wanted to keep the pace high because at that point, I looked back and saw that we did have a bit of a gap to the peloton, and I wanted to make this race a little bit harder from here on in. So I do about 30 seconds at the front by myself before swinging off and there's a group of about eight of us here and this is probably in my mind i think the best chance to win i'm not much of a sprinter and in a field of 40 riders i want to whittle it down make it hard and try to see if i can be part of a select group that gets away but this particular move doesn't work out it's just the first of a few little skirmishes we're going to have throughout the race so we're caught here we'll skip ahead to a couple of laps later on the wheel of the LACC rider but it's the rider in white who's pulled out there with a bit of an attack up this uphill finishing drag that's Paul Kraft you might know Crafty as a commentator at all sorts of races across Sydney and New South Wales but he's also a handy club racer himself and I knew it so Basically, I thought wherever Crafty went, I wanted to follow as much as I could because not only is he really experienced, so he knows when to attack and what's a good time to accelerate, but I also know that he's a strong rider who can ride the breakaway. So if I'm in a break with him, I know I can rely on him to pull turns. And also, I knew that he'd be motivated to try to get away because that's the kind of rider he is. He likes to attack like me is probably not the greatest sprinter in the field that we had tonight so i knew he'd be motivated to ride the break so i get across to him and once again pull a longer turn down this downhill straight try to get a gap going try to make a move happen once again we've got a little bit of a gap and a small group about six riders this time so I slot in back behind Crafty and hope that this move will stay away for a bit and apply some pressure. We cut ahead about 30 seconds later. We're turning into this uphill finishing straight here. Just rolling turns, trying to keep the pace high. As you can see, we're rolling quite short turns here. Crafty now goes to the front and puts in a solid dig for about 10, 15 seconds. I spoke to him after the race and he said, he thought that we needed to be 
pulling longer turns, maybe 30 seconds each in order to establish this breakaway. But instead, as you can see, I just roll straight over to a short turn and let the other rider come through. So that's something for me to learn for next time. Maybe think about doing longer turns there to try to establish the break. But I'm looking back now, I can see the peloton is on us. So this break has been reeled back. The rider in blue sees that too, and he goes on a counter attack, but that's gonna be doomed to failure as well. Cut forward to another couple of laps time. This is an hour long race, and at this point, we're about 50 minutes in. And I'm still in the mindset that I wanna make this race hard. So at this point, going up this uphill finishing drag, there's a rider at the front who's just drilling it, setting a really hard tempo to line out the peloton. And this is what I need. I want someone like this to do that, to make the race hard. And then once I get near the top of this hill, I can put in an attack over the top and try to make this race difficult and hopefully drag a few riders across. So that's what I'm doing now, coming in over the top just as that rider pulls off after finishing his turn, putting in an acceleration and trying to get some separation from the peloton. But on the other hand, I also want someone to come across with me because I don't think I can survive out here by myself. Unfortunately, this time around, no one has come with me and it's just me dangling out the front. So in hindsight, and you're gonna see why in a minute, but in hindsight, this was probably wasn't the right move to try to go by myself. As you can see, I'm caught here and Crafty's counter-attacked over the top of me and it looks like I'm standing still because I've gone pretty deep to try to get that gap and now I just need to recover, get back into the wheels and recover and go again. At this point, I've been reabsorbed by the Peloton. So unfortunately, wasn't able to make much of a, an impact there. And I've just said out loud, you must be kidding me because I've heard the bell and that was only maybe 30 seconds after I got reabsorbed by the peloton. So I have unfortunately mistimed my attack. Here's Crafty as well on the right, just getting dropped. That's his race done. So we've got the bell for the final lap. I've just been brought back from an attack. So unfortunately for me, having mistimed it, now I've got to try to recover for a sprint. Thankfully, it's been an uphill uh, headwind all the way along this finishing straight. So it's quite easy to sit in the wheels today. And I've got the wheel here at number 39, whom I know is a very quick sprinter. That's David Hampton from, I think, Marconi, or is it Bankstown Cycling Club? So at this point, I'm just thinking, all right, I'll just follow the wheel of David Hampton. He'll take me to the sprint, and I'll see what I've got left in the legs there. Managed to follow him down that downhill tailwind section. There's a couple of riders keeping the pace nice and high. Even up this little drag, I prepare myself, get out of the saddle for an acceleration to get up this drag and try to hold on to the wheel of Hampton there. To do a pretty good job of. So I was pretty satisfied with how I held the wheels of the sprinters in this race. I've been doing a little bit of track racing for the first time over the summer and one of the things I've been trying to pick up there is positioning and holding the wheel despite little micro accelerations. Now you can see here, I've lost the wheel to David Hampton, but I couldn't have picked a better rider to find the wheel of because the rider in front of me, number 41, is Kevin Berkeley, my club mate from Parramatta. And I happen to know that he is probably the best sprinter in this field. Kev normally races A grade, but he's coming back from injury, so he's been racing some B grade races recently. And I think he's been winning all of them. A little bit of a sketchy move down the left-hand side there, but everyone gets out of it alive. So now I'm just focused on holding the wheel of Kev Berkeley for this uphill sprint. I do like this reverse course because I prefer the uphill sprint. I think it suits riders like me, lighter riders a little better. Also, a bit fairer for juniors, like this poor guy on the left who's been spinning out his junior gears this whole race. 
it's also safer because of the slower speeds. The sprint opens up here. Kev just kicks, stomps on the pedals, and he's got like 10 bike lengths on me immediately. I've got no response there. I thought I heard a little ping from my wheels there, and I checked the race. After the race, I checked my wheels, and indeed, I'd broken one of the spokes in the sprint. But it was a 10th place for me in the sprint. A really good, fun race. I loved trying this course out under the lights. So come out to Sydney Motorsport Park Monday evenings and give it a go.